Welcome to Nerd Digital Brew. Welcome to lesson number five, writing a search string. Here's where we're going to put all of your previous lessons together and find out how useful being able to write a search string will be for you. So writing a search string involves using Boolean terms, also known as search operators, keywords, and tools to best receive the most specific searches. Using Boolean terms overrides the algorithm of a search engine and brings the searcher the most specific search contents possible. You will save time and find better results, truly, and you'll spend less time weeding through information and more time finding your answers directly. Writing a search string. Well, I'm going to show you an example. So here is a search string I might have written. If you look at it, it begins with a root command, site, colon, and then a domain. And LinkedIn is a, a website where you list, um, create a profile so you can be found for employment. So if I'm there, I'm going to look for someone within that site who's a software engineer or a Java engineer and is in the Oregon area. And I don't want to find jobs. I actually want to find people or profiles or information about that profession in that area. So if I do that, it would look something like this when I put um, that search string into my Google, Google search engine. And I would come up with a list of content like this. So writing a search string is really valuable. And I'm, we're going to show you kind of the basics of how to do this. Learning to write search strings. First, understand what you know versus what you need to know. Think of this like a word problem in algebra, where you get part of the answer um, and you have to set up some kind of equation to figure it out. It's kind of like that, but using the concepts that we've covered. So you have to understand what you're looking for just as much as how to write a search string. Use terms from your website that your website would use. So for example, if you learn something in a search, use that knowledge to write a new search string to narrow your search even further. And finally, don't give up. Try multiple variations of a search string. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate how to do all three of these. First, understand what you know versus what you need to know. So we're going to begin. I've got a search string that's written here in, with, uh, from the past, Adobe After Effects CC and Mac in a platform and tutorial and beginner. So I'm looking for a beginning tutorial for Adobe After Effects for a Macintosh. So that's the way the string is written, as you can see. And I'm in Google, and I get all of my content. But I want to um, now find something where, if I were looking for a part, a 1.5 volt and a charger and a part, if I wrote that search string, used like that, I would get results. But again, I know that I need a 1.5 volt charger. Now, if I narrow that down, I could put and purchase. Now I'm going to find content to purchase a 1.5 volt charger, which is very handy if I'm used doing a build project. Here's another one. Adobe After Effects CC and Panel and Frozen. Let's say I've got a problem within something I'm trying to learn or do. I can also find research results in forums. People will post um, mistakes or errors they have, and other people will answer them. So I can actually look within forums if I write a really good search string and find an answer that doesn't seem to be possibly solvable without writing a really good search string. Second thing, use terms your website would use. So imagine this, if I'm trying to find um, how to do something with an illustrator, and I want to find how to move an image or copy something with an illustrator and use it elsewhere. 
when I write my first search string, which is really generic, I kind of look through my content. And by looking through, I find out that that term is called image trace within Illustrator um, and with Adobe Circles. That's an important term to use. So now I'm going to actually write a new search string. Adobe Illustrator CC, which is my software, and image trace, which is the term for actually moving or copying images, and tutorial, and beginner. Now I'm going to see if I can find a great tutorial on how to use image trace, and there it is. Very helpful. I can narrow my content and find something instantaneously. Great to know to use terms to narrow my content. Learning to write search strings also involves not giving up, trying multiple variations of a search string so that you can actually make your search engine do your work. So if you notice along the side on a sticky, I've written four search strings. Um, and they include Holocaust and Survivor and Story and Personal Account or Memoir, Holocaust and Survivor and Personal Narrative or Personal and Account, Holocaust Survivor and Narrative or Story or Memoir, Site, and notice this, I'm doing a site x-ray on a website I found called the NOAA Foundation, um, or the Shoah Foundation, which I've actually found from before. And what I did is I wrote variations on the same content but a different way of looking at all of these. So I'm going to take these search strings one by one, open a tab and pop them in and hit return. And I'm not going to bother to wade through them yet. I'm just going to actually let my search engine bring me content. So if you notice, I'm just popping that material in based on what I've written. And I'm letting my search engine gather and bring me content. Here's my last one. Now, if I'm looking for something specific, this is a great way to do it. Now I can actually go through tab by tab and see the content that each tab has brought me. And you're going to notice that each search string, because they were a little different, brings me different content. And that's the key. Now I've got four full stream um, content searches for me to find specific content and all of it brings me different materials. I can now go through each one of those and find which one suits my needs the best. So using multiple search strings is a valuable tool. Don't give up. Just write a varied form of each one of your search strings and see what your search engine will bring you. Understand what you know versus what you need to know. Writing a search string means you have to understand what you know, figure out what you need to know, and write a search string accordingly. Use terms your website would use. In other words, when you learn something about your content, use that content as part of your next search string. And don't give up. Try multiple variations. Writing multiple forms of a search string in varied patterns will help you find different information. And finally, the more you use search strings, the easier this process becomes. Happy searching.